Welcome to Wallace Wade Stadium on the campus of Duke University, and customarily a trip here involves a journey to Kayville. Instead, you will be engulfed by the Wade Wackos, the Duke fans ready for their Blue Devils to go to work. This matchup today, part of the lifeblood of the sport, a rivalry game where the results will be remembered for a lifetime as we'll see a squad from the ACC, the North Carolina Tar Heels, taking on a fellow ACC opponent, the Duke Blue Devils. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. The Blue Devils will get us started with the opening kickoff. He'll start the return inside his five. And he'll be brought down after a solid effort on that return. The offense lining up for a first down play. They move the tight end all over. On the ground, it's Moore. Cross the 30 out to the 33 and gains four on the play. Nice run there on first down. You know, this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get laddered up. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. The play action fake, feeling some heat. And the defense gets to the quarterback. When it's a play action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. And not the optimum setup to try to salvage the opening drive with a third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Finds his tight end. You got to love that on defense. One of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave up the completion. Whoop de doo. You've set up fourth and long. You're going to get the ball back. Go get some water and so on. And the Blue Devils will line up to punt it away. Getting our first look at... And the punt is blocked! And after the huge special teams play, they'll take over just inside their 30-yard line. Does life get any better than this for an offense to start a drive with a first and goal? They'll try to get it in with the run. He'll pick up three before he's downed at the six. Now on second and goal. He'll run it to the right here and try to get it into the end zone. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. It's looking like they're going to have to try to throw this one into the end zone here on third down, David. Quarterback's got to be careful. Can't get greedy because you know these windows, they close fast. Extremely tight windows. Find your big body guys that you know can win in contested situations here on third down. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Got it! And they've got him down after the short completion, but they inch closer and closer to Pater. Really nice job by the defense there. You're trying to force the quarterback to throw the football in front of you and allow your guys to square up and make a tackle out in space. You gotta force the ball carrier to do something special after the catch. Not able to do it there, so really nice tactic by the defense. Never a doubt. Right down the middle. And with that, they break the seal on the scoring. It's 3-0. Three, nothing. Three, two, zero. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. And the Duke off. 
offense heads back out onto the field. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Got him downfield. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Well, another catch by the big fella. And, hey, this defense now in the second level, they've got to understand that they're going to see some play action. They can't keep biting on the fake. It's not easy to do. You've got to be aware of the tight end and his release. As soon as you see him get upfield, right now you know it's pass. So don't even worry about the fake. Get your eyes focused and find the big fella to go make a tackle or make a play on the ball. Wide receiver coming across in motion. They'll go to the ground. And he's swallowed up at the line of scrimmage by the big defensive tackle. The biggest lie college football coaches tell is nameless, faceless opponent. David, game like this, you know their name and you know their face. You know them well, and it does mean just a little bit more because it's bragging rights. Like, the rivalries matter so much. All throughout the year, all the fans talking about this game in particular, that's why it means more, and that's why these players will be jacked out of their minds. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. That back had nowhere to go. Defensive line ate up the blocks, but how about the linebackers swarming in, coming in and making a great play on the ball carry? The Blue Devils will punt this one away. He hopes it turns out better than last time. He had the other one blocked. Excellent coverage that time. Didn't give him any room to set up the big return. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. you got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. Generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. This offense has a second down play. Johnson wants to throw it. And the quarterback is snowed under. And the defense there goes zone coverage. Maybe confused the quarterback a little bit, forced him to hold on to the football, and that allowed the pass rush to get home. the gun wants to pass quickly complete really confident throw and catch there big pickup and they have a first down on third down offenses have their plays what they like in third and short what they like third and medium third and long great job by the offense having success now it's incumbent upon the defense to learn their plays and try to shut it down throughout the game from the gun the running back tries to hit the hole and he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. They have relished this tight victory since the last time these two got together, Paula. Yeah, it's just winning is beautiful. And when you beat your rival and you get those bragging rights, Palmer, it is a glorious thing for a whole year and sometimes longer. Well, that's the best thing about rivalry games like this. For the winning team, whoever pulls this one out here today, their fans are going to be bragging about this one for a long time. Coming after it. That pressure got to him, and he just had to chuck it out of bounds. That last incomplete pass has him staring at a third and three. Wants to throw on third down. Fires to the big fella. He gets it to the 38-yard line, and they'll pick up a fresh set of downs. 
Well, offensive coordinators put in countless hours every week trying to formate and use different personnel groupings and shifts and motions to give their offense a success on third down. You can tell in this game, this offensive coordinator, he has put in the work this week. Got it behind the line. It's Blackwell. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Ooh, and that was close for the offense. They try to go wide receiver screen. They're counting on that receiver, beating that defender. Wasn't able to make a miss that time, but if I'm on offense, I'm going back to that play later. They'll line up for a second down play. Johnson looking to throw. Makes his connection. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short on first down. You run the slant route day one, and this is something that the quarterback and the wide receiver has done a hundred million times out there on the field in the offseason. I see man-to-man -man coverage. I know I can run the slant. Boom, stick my foot in the ground, throw it, completion of my wide receiver. On third and short, they'll ride the running back here. Is that stiff arm even a human arm? It, it looks like some type of steel bludgeoning device on his way to a first down. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. The Tar Heels will have it first and ten. They're going to ride this running back. Finds a little bit of room. Give him a couple down to the 23. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Quick pass on the fly motion. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. I like offenses being creative. I'm not sure if that was the best place to call that play. I think this offense needs to think about just doing things a little bit more by the book. They've got a lot of good playmakers. You don't have to reinvent the wheel this early in the game. They'll run play action. Snagged in the middle. It's Blackwell. Gets it inside the five, down to the four, and it'll be first and goal. And that's a really good example of a quarterback and his intended target both being on the same page. The timing was almost perfect on that play. That's why they were able to convert the third down, now setting up first and goal. After another clutch third down conversion, it's first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he'll find the end zone. Touchdown, Tar Heel! Precision blocking up front created the open lane, and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, um, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And they finish it off with the score from the four. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. And Duke has the ball back, ready to go on the attack. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. Grab behind the line. It's Moore. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. 
Well, give the defense credit on that one because they knew coming into this one that they were going to try to get this receiver the ball in a variety of ways. They were ready for the screen there, and they create a negative play. Offense breaks the huddle on third down. Fast motion from the offense. Back to throw, it's Murphy. Fires to the middle. And this is going to be incomplete on third. Nice job in coverage on that third and short. Defensively taking all the throws and options away for the quarterback. And now we're setting up fourth down. And the Blue Devils will call on their punt team. And don't forget, he did have one blocked earlier. Fields the punt and looking for daylight. Tries to find a little more running room on that return, but he'll be stopped at the 36. North Carolina has it back in the Tar Heels, so pleased to send the offense back out. Unloads quickly. Really good offenses are able to attack short. You've got to be able to attack the whole field to make you honor that underneath part, then the intermediate part, and then you take shots down the field. This will loosen up some shots for later in the game. Running game worked on first down. Let's see if they go back to it on second down. On the run, it's Hampton. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. They have it at the 43, third and short, trying to avoid making a decision on fourth down. They'll stick to the ground, looking for the marker. Fights off a defender. Gets it past the marker for a first down, and that's the way we will wrap up the first quarter. Well, with the weapons this offense has, you knew it was just a matter of time in the run game before someone was going to break a long one. They'd just been running into a wall. They just couldn't seem to find their creases and get enough movement up front, but they finally got it there, picking up the first. Let's see what happens next. He's got it on the right. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. This offense is clicking. Everything working together really well. Coordinator, quarterback, offensive line. Good rhythm, good flow. Defense is going to have to find something to kind of mess up this timing they got going on. And the Tar Heels are rolling down the field. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Caught in the backfield, it's Hampton. And a good job of coverage by that defense, just a short pickup. They were able to get the ball with the running back in space, but that space just evaporated. And a great job by the defense, man. It's tough to get those guys on the ground. They're so used to being having the football as running backs and making plays and being dynamic. So usually one guy not going to get into the ground. You want many guys swarming to the football trying to get that elusive guy on the ground. It's complete on the right side. They make the stop, but the sweet throwing catch is plenty to give them a first down. Defense just has to do a better job in coverage, guys. They did a great job taking away the quarterback's initial primary target. But then they left that guy completely wide open. Somebody busted on the back end. The Tar Heels in the hurry up. From the red zone, looking for a receiver. He's got it. Goes out of bounds just short of the goal line, and they'll be set up and in great position here. Well, this defense now is just getting gashed. And if you're the defensive coordinator, you might now want to think about being aggressive, changing up your play calls, and maybe breaking your own tendencies because you have got to stop this offense just marching down the field. Keeping it on the ground on first and goal. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. So on offense, you've got to find a way to put six up on the board. You know that in this game, field goals may not get it done. So big-time players make big plays in big games. Who can you rely on right now to get you a touchdown? Can the D deny them on second and goal? Tries again to get it in. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. Well, he gets tackled down at the one-yard line, so offensively, do you feel confident enough on third here trying to hand it off again? Yeah, and I'm taking both these downs, and I'm coming downhill. I'm running the football, trying to get this in the end zone. I only got a yard to go. I got to be physical. On the ground. 
And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, UNC! And I love it. I love the physicality of this offense. It's third and goal. I trust my offensive line to pave the way, give the ball to my running back, and know he's going to physically punch this thing into the end zone. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. That drive covered 62 yards for the touchdown, and they capped it off with a one-yard punt. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Looking for blockers. And the returner is stopped. And the Duke offense heads back out onto the field. Trailing now by 17, David. This is an opportunity that they need to answer. And down by 17, it's not panic mode yet. Like, I know we just gave up some points and our defense hasn't played great. But I think this offense can still be who they are and stay consistent. No doubt, lots of football to go, but you do get the feeling this is the time of game where, you know, it could get bad. If you don't score and all of a sudden they get the ball back, they take it down the field and put some points up, this thing might be over. So absolutely, this quarterback, he wants to drive this offense down the field and at least put something on it. Oh, he drops it. That is a catch he makes 99 times out of 100, but it'll be third down. Got to give the defense a lot of credit, man, because they've come into this hostile environment and they've quieted the crowd down with some of the plays they're making. They've got a nice lead right here, and they're making it hard for this quarterback to go to work. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. Got it set up on the outside. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Hey, man, sometimes you get the perfect play call at the perfect time. That time, the defense blitzing, offensive line allowed everybody to run up field, and they slip in the running back screen, and behind it, there was nobody there to make a tackle, and this offense generates a massive play. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. He maybe gets a yard. They'll mark him at the 29. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous, and the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Looking to throw, it's Murphy. Got his man quickly. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. And a really nice job by the wide receiver. You run a drag route, find space. They're in zone coverage. They're not covering man-to-man. -man. Find a little hole. Look at that QB. Y'all get on the same page. You can tell they were, and that's why they got the first down. The Blue Devils are in the hurry up. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up with the pass. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. Defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent's side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Everybody, they dug their heel on the ground. They're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. And the Blue Devils will punt it away on fourth down. Now, don't forget, and I'm sure he hasn't, he had one blocked earlier. Here's the return. And the coverage team able to make the tackle. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up. Off he goes. Smashes through. And he's brought down after a huge completion. Well, after that last play, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. So that big play changes the complexion of things. It's first and 10 just outside the 30. The give on the inside. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. 
It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. Just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for you. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Johnson wants to throw it. Quickly complete. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. Well, you know who's got to love this offense picking up so many first downs? It's their own defense. David, I know you love playing on teams with great offenses. And the Tar Heels are threatening on first and goal. Firing to the right, complete. They get it down to the seven on that pass play in prime position for a score. I don't know who on defense is going to cover this guy. Honestly, he could be a problem for this defense over the middle of the field in the passing game. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He's looking to throw. And the pass is complete, but less than nothing to show for it. They're knocked down behind the line. You know, this happens sometimes in football. You forget which direction you're going, and you got to be reminded you were going the wrong direction. Come on, man. we got to catch that thing. we got to get more south and go make a play, get closer to the end zone, not start dancing and going the wrong way. Third and goal from way back there. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires into the end zone. They intercept it. Well, the defense comes away with the pick there with their nickel personnel. I think moving forward, if you're on offense, when you see that personnel on the field, you want to run the ball against it because you've got smaller guys out there. Or if you're going to throw, think about quick screens outside when you have tight ends flexed on the perimeter, bigger bodies blocking smaller guys. And Duke has the ball back, ready to go on the attack. They've got nothing done so far, and they already find themselves in a three-possession hole, Jesse. Yeah, and as a head coach, you're wondering, what didn't I say? What didn't I do to get my team ready to go? Because we look like we're sleepwalking at this point, Dave. And nothing went well in the first quarter. You just say refresh. Like, let's try to find a way now, chip into this lead, try to make it somewhat manageable when you get to the half. They ran it on first down, now on second. On the move, it's Murphy. They get it up, rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. I know it's early in this game, but man, this defense has had their number. They've done a great job, already built a huge lead, now getting this offense in a situation where they got to pass the football, and they better protect their quarterback better than they are right now. When you've already set your punter out four times, at least he knows he's going to get his varsity letter, and his leg might get a bigger workout if they don't convert. Trying to get to it. And here comes the pressure, and there he goes down again. Well, I think one of the biggest reasons why this team is finding themselves in a hole here in the first half is this has been a sack party. They can't keep the defense off of their quarterback. They haven't been able to get the ball deep down the field, throwing it with the consistency they want because they can't keep their quarterback standing up straight. The Blue Devils will send out the punt unit. And don't forget, he did have one blocked earlier. Yet another punt on the way. Got to make sure that hamstring stays loose. He's been busy. And they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive. North Carolina has it back, and the Tar Heels so pleased to send the offense back out. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Gets it out fast. You know, sometimes even a short game like that can be used to 
set up something bigger later on. No doubt, Reese. They can pump that and take a shot down the field. Don't worry. They're going to go back to that same play because they know this guy with the ball in his hands is dangerous. He makes one guy miss. He can take it to the house. Offense breaks the huddle. It's third down. Johnson looking to throw. Quickly out to the tight end. Putting together a real scoring threat here as they pick up the first down at the 36. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. The biggest key there is the quarterback understanding that A, it's zone, but B, what kind of zone is it? Is it one high safety? Is it two high safeties? And then you know instinctively where your best throw, where your highest percentage completion is based on what type of zone coverage it's going to be. Brought down at the 26-yard line after a pickup of 10 yards on the play, and it'll be a first down. All right, defense. It ain't working, right? They're stringing together several first downs here. We're going to need to change this up, find something we can disrupt the quarterback and, and mess up this offense a little bit. The Tar Heels are moving quickly down the field. down to the 26-yard line and a first down. He wants to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Makes the catch. He stopped just short of the goal line at the one. An explosive play has him set up. Well, this offense has come out slinging the pill. They are throwing it. They are trying to be aggressive. We're only in the second quarter, guys. Already, this guy has over 200 yards passing. And the Tar Heels have it in scoring position on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he's going to take it to the house. Touchdown, North Carolina! The offense continues to run the football. The second rushing touchdown from the running back. The offensive line paving holes continue to feed this man the ball. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they capped it off with a one-yard punch. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And the Duke offense heads back out onto the field. They find themselves in a pretty deep hole here, but maybe a chance to grab a little momentum and regroup at halftime. Yeah, a big chance. Like this is this is an opportunity. This is the biggest opportunity in front of them in the game right now. You gotta get some points on the board. You gotta create something positive, Jesse. There hasn't been a whole lot to be positive about in the first half. If I'm playing quarterback, I'm locating my go-to guy at receiver. Who can I count on one-on-one -on -one to go and make me a play? Maybe even one-on-two. -on -two. Who can go up? Catch the ball, get us some yards, and get us some points. Throws for the tight end. It's complete. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Now on first and 10 from the 29. Looking to move it through the air. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. A nice job by the QB there, timing out that drag throw. It's zone coverage, so he's got to make sure he gets it to his receiver in a window to allow him to catch the ball and then turn it upfield. And the Blue Devils want to crank the tempo. Dropping back, it's Murphy. They're trying to get to it. Working the middle, it's complete. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. 
This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly, and that's why he seems like he's in a great way to and I like the aggressiveness on third and short, trying to throw the football, take advantage of a look that they got. They weren't successful, and now it's fourth and short territory. Who knows what they're going to do? The Blue Devils Number decide to punt it away. Now, don't forget, and I'm sure he hasn't, he had one blocked earlier. They'll put that return to a stop at the 33, but the offense set up in pretty good field position. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. He'll come out throwing on first down. Going to try to pop one on the screen. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. The offense wastes no time getting the timeout call. And guys with the empty backfield on second and short, might they take a shot here? He's looking to throw. He makes the connection. He makes the stop at the 48. That'll be enough for a first down and a pickup of 10. The offense will stop the clock and use one of its timeouts. The offense has it now at the 48-yard line, first and 10. The sure hands, it's Hampton. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. Tackle is made at the 14 yard line. The offense quickly calls timeout to stop the clock. Final seconds of the first half, and they'll try to put up three. You see this kicker not only needing to generate power, but lining it up from the left hash. A 59-yard try coming. Thought he had it and couldn't get it through the upright. He missed it. And this will stay a three-score game at 24. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. All lined up and ready to go for a great second half ahead. And he's going to bring it out of the end zone. And good work by the coverage team to knock down the return man. North Carolina has it back in the Tar Heels, so pleased to send the offense back out. Good timing on the quick out. Yeah, and he runs a quick out route, and this is a timing route. The quarterback has to trust him, throw him the football. You can tell they've thrown this a time or two. Nice job, nice success. Here comes the offense on second down. Quick strike complete. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. That throw and catch, a really good example of why coaches don't want a quarterback to get stuck on a particular target, isn't it, David? Yep, that's exactly right. Find the guy who's open because you got so many guys that have so much speed that can do so much damage on the field. Find my matchup, get it to him, let him do the rest. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Don't you love energetic defenses that fly around, that make things happen? The ones that get in the backfield, the running back tries to go somewhere. Where do you want him to go? There, there is nowhere to go. Nice job by the defense, creating the tackle for a loss on first down. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. Quick completion to the right. Knocked down immediately, but a nice pickup on that one. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands. Get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. A third down try for the offense. Johnson wants to throw it. They're bringing heat. Pulls it in. Really nice job there to pick up the first down and get it to their own 41. And when you run those drag routes, it just takes a little bit of know-how. And when I say that, the receiver's got to understand, find space. My quarterback's going to find me. He's looking for that space at the same time. Nice throw, nice catch. Way to get the first down. 
The Tar Heels are moving quickly down the field. The RPO, it's complete. They stop him just a link or two short of the first, and man, what they can do on second down here. That was a really nice catch and an even better one after the grab. Yeah, and get the ball to your playmaker. What's good about having him in the slot is he can go either direction. You can get him matched up on somebody that's not as fast, and you watch, he can run away from those linebackers or safeties. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Offense gets set for second down. The aerial assault continues. Got it in the middle, it's Jones. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. That big pickup on what they call the drag route, but if you hit it on time, you can hit the turbo boosters. And you've got to be accurate on the throw, too, Reese. Nice job by the QB there, putting it out in front of his receiver to make an easy catch and then advance it. And the Tar Heels with the first and ten. Give to the running back. That one did not go well. Tackled in the backfield for a loss of six. That DB had a different story. He had something to say. Coming up, make it a physical tackle. Big loss on the last play. Threatens to knock this drive off course. It's second and 16. Caught in the backfield. It's Jones. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. I'm trying to throw the screen out to the receiver. The defense, though, having none of that. They are just too physical. They're too fast. They force a negative play. Ninth play of the drive coming up, but this one will be tough. Third and long. He's looking downfield to throw. Got a man in the middle. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. And he just continues to put up numbers, and that number is now over 300. This guy just throws completions, man. The ball doesn't seem to touch the ground. He's back there. He's making the right reads. Right now, he is locked into what this defense is trying to do. Running back searching for a hole. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Everybody talks about DBs. They talk about dropping in coverage and not being physical. <laughs> That DB begs to differ. Great tackle coming up, playing physical like a linebacker. The negative play leaves them with second and 12. Trying play action. Looking to the big tight end. Touchdown, Tar Heels! And the route is on. They've extended this lead, guys, but sometimes in a rivalry game, you get down and you fight back that much harder. Man, you've seen crazy comebacks and crazy swings of momentum in rivalry games. You just need that first thing to break your way, Palmer. And I think it really comes down to their key playmakers, David. They can come back, but these guys need to take ownership. Now's the time. In this type of game, they have got to step up and start making plays. And the extra point just tacks a little bit more onto this huge lead. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And the scoring play comes on a touchdown pass from 22 yards out. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And Duke has the ball back, ready to go on the attack. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of their you-know-whats. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They've got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. From the gun, the ground game. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up. 
wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Touch pass on the run. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run right after the catch, so pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth, David, if I were allowed to push, have push passes when I was playing quarterback. I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend. It's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead coming around the inside. Great job by the whole defense, but how about the little bitty defensive back throwing his face in the fan? I ain't scared. I don't just cover guys. I make tackles. And the Blue Devils will try to pin them back with the punt. And don't forget, he did have one blocked earlier. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. That last touchdown drive was surgical through the air, Jesse. It sure was, and that's why this offense is so dangerous, David, because they can score in a hurry because of how efficient they are throwing the football. Yeah, and welcome to modern college football. That's what it is. Spread you out, find my playmakers, make quick decisions, and really put defenses in a difficult situation. And now on second down for this offense. Looking for a crease. It's Hampton. Got the first down. Looking for more. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. It's hard to stop great runners. It really is. That's why you run the football consistently. You got a big offensive line, a big physical unit. You run the football like this, man, it will take a toll later. But you got to tackle this guy over and over again who has this ability to make people miss and make big plays. Finds a tight end. And an absolutely fearless tackle, giving up size, still got him on the turf. I think that time offensively, you're just trying to take what the defense is giving you, right? They're playing zone coverage. You got your big fella just working right over the ball. It's an easy pitch and catch. Just take the profit and let's keep going. Ran the ball on first down. Let's see what they do on second. They'll see if they can find some running room on the right here. That one did not go well. Tackled in the backfield for a loss of six. Yeah, and listen, the offense has had their way, and they've had so much success and so much production. But listen, at least the defense got a rep. You know, maybe this gets you some a spark. Maybe this gets you some energy. Maybe we'll see a little bit more life from this defense. Yeah, they may not win the game, but I think this defensive coaching staff at this point, based on how this game has gone, they're just trying to find things to build off of. Maybe that's something they can point to as they get ready for their next opponent of things they did right, things that they got to do more consistently. And offensively, we know it's hard throwing the ball in the third and long situations because the defense can play big zone coverages. They got a lot of guys with their eyes on you, so the QB had no shot there. Nobody open. Nice job not forcing it, not risking a turnover, just throwing it away. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. And the Duke offense heads back out onto the field. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front, they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. And here comes the offense on second down. Wants to throw. It's Murphy. Gets it out quickly. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. Really nice job to get it past the sticks. Pick up the first down at the 30. That is how it's done on third down and short. A no doubt about it. An easy hole to get through and clearly get the first down. If you really want to simplify football, the low man wins. That time, the offense got the better of the D. Easily picked that up. The Blue Devils will snap it on first and 10. 
Might as well give it to him again. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. It's been that kind of day for this offense, right? It seems like anything they're dialing up just simply isn't working. But at this point, David, I don't know if it's even worth trying to run the ball. Probably not. You're getting destroyed right now. Nothing has gone your way. And when you're down this much, I, I think the running game is used sporadically, not as a staple. Let's throw this football around and see what can happen. Caught behind the line. It's Moore. No way move! And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Big play in the passing game there, and I like the receiver gearing down in the zone. Did a nice job finding the soft spot on defense between the defenders, giving the quarterback an easy target to throw to to complete that throw. And the Blue Devils are on the move. Touch pass on the jet sweep. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Well, and on these little push passes, timing is so important. You're trying to snap it right as he's getting a full head of steam. When he gets the ball, he's hitting the outside, and David, it puts the defense in such a difficult spot. You immediately have to be rotating when you see that motion, so everybody's got to communicate and kind of bump over. That's why offenses love to run it. Just It makes the defense communicate and see if you can just get them out of a spot. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. I mean, getting suffocated right away. How about the DB? Just seeing that initially, pulling the trigger, getting to him, get him on the ground, get the tackle for a loss. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. Back to pass, it's Murphy. Fires to the wideout. He's got it. They get him on the ground, and that'll be the final play of this third period. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. QBs, when you see zone coverage, man, can you manipulate defense when you have a good pocket and you've got time to throw. He had a little bit of time to throw. You can move guys with your eyes. That drag comes wide open. Good throw, good catch, first down. Coming out on first down with the play fake. And he makes the catch, but he can't stay in bounds. That'll be incomplete. And it's just been that kind of day for this quarterback and this offense, guys. They have never been able to get into a rhythm throwing the football. Timing's been off. Accuracy hasn't been great. We've seen some drops. Just not in sync. And that's why they find themselves trailing by a lot right here late in the game. After the incompletion, back to the passing game. Caught over the middle. It's Moore. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. Hey, and quarterback receiver on the same page. Nice job seeing the zone, understanding the drag route concept. Easy pitch, easy catch. Do they have another third down conversion in the bag? Already two for two on this drive. It's third and two. He'll just keep slinging it. Got it in the middle. It's more. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets enough on the catch for the first down. So nice when you're in offense and you get in these third and shorts and you know the defense has to be aggressive, has to commit guys up front, especially in the red zone area. Nice job by this offense, slipping in the pass, getting rid of the football, setting up a first and goal. Looking to throw, it's Murphy. Snags it. Good throw and catch. Takes it down to the five as the offense tries to cash in. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. Picked up some of what they needed on first down. Now it's second and goal from the five. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. And he was dying to push his way in there, but he's knocked down at the three. This defense has been lights out, stubborn on the doorstep. Can the offense finally find the end zone? Trying to punch it in. And makes his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Duke! 
Yeah, and listen, that, that is awesome to see the guys continue to fight, continue to keep competing because this game is over. Like, we don't need to fool y'all. We're not trying to get y'all to stick around and, and, and improve ratings. Like, the game's over, but you're continuing to fight. You're powered in for the touchdown. And show your kids that we're going to always fight no matter what the score is. On to attempt to try. The extra point is good, but the lead is still big, down 31-7. They held the ball for 15 plays on that touchdown drive and closed the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. On the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. North Carolina has it back in the Tar Heels, so pleased to send the offense back out. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. A collision, and he stopped at the 27 after picking up one. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 27. He'll keep it himself. And they did not let him get to that first down line. It'll bring up a call here. You know, this offensive line, they just got to hold their blocks a little bit longer. This offense likes to run their quarterback on design plays. If you can just give them a little crease, he can take it the distance, but they couldn't get it done. Yet. The Tar Heels send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And the returner could find no daylight. He goes down. And Duke has the ball back, ready to go on the attack. Wants to throw on first down. And they got him. He'll get him down for the sack. This quarterback has been under duress all game long. He's one of the best in the country, and he's used to having his way. He's the one who's used to dictating to opposing defenses, but that has not been the case in this game. Here we are late. He's still under pressure taking a sack there. Well, after not getting a thing done on first down, it's second and long from the 24. On the run, it's Murphy. He's got his man. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. And that was a nice throw by the QB. When you see that drag route coming across the field, how about putting the ball right on his numbers? Not high, not low, where he has to stop his momentum. Right on the numbers where he can catch it, keep running, and chew up some yards after the catch. He just couldn't hold his water long enough in the line of scrimmage. It'll be a penalty. Now this offense facing a third and long from their own 30. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Using the quick game. And how about that alertness and that swarming D to keep him from getting the first down? They allowed the completion, but this defense was swarming to keep them away from that first down line. Yeah, and you allow completions in those third down situations underneath the sticks, and you come up and rally, and everybody flies to the football. That's great execution by this defense. He's got a first down and maybe a lot more. And not much of a fourth down gamble when it's that much of a short thing, an easy conversion for this offense. Well, you got to give this quarterback a ton of credit because he showed tremendous confidence on that throw. That wasn't just trying to throw to the sticks. That was being aggressive and throwing it down the field. Not a high percentage throw, but he had confidence in his guy to win one-on-one -on -one and to keep the drive alive. Zings it complete to the right. 
And that's a very productive first down play and bringing up second and three. Well, and here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle, and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. On second down, he'll let it fly. Makes the grab on the left. And good blocking in space out there to give him enough room to pick up the first down. The Blue Devils are moving quickly down the field. The give to the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. You got to give this defense credit because they have bottled this guy up all game long. He's one of the best running backs in all of college football. Everybody was expecting him to have a big one today. Don't tell that to this defense, though. They played with great effort. They've gotten hats to the football, and they have been able to shut him down. From the gun, the give, looking for room. They pull him down after a four-yard gain down to the 24. Balls at the 24, a lot of confidence in their kicker from here, but they'd love to take it off of his foot and convert the first down. To the air, it's Murphy. A strike downfield. Defense makes a stop, but the chains move, and it's first and goal from the eight. Really nice job there of the quarterback reading coverage. He knew exactly where to go with the football and at what exact time. The timing could not have been better. They get the completion on third down, setting up first and goal. And the Blue Devils have it in scoring position on first and goal. They want to throw it. He makes a grab. He's down at the one, and they almost had the touchdown pass on that one. They've done a really good job creating the matchups they want out of the slot. Yeah, dude, get that guy matched up on a linebacker. That guy matched up on a safety. Keep him away from the corners by putting him in the slot. Get him the football. Let him make plays. Trying to surge it in. And will cruise into the end zone. Touchdown, Blue Devils! Wow, this offense, they have a lot of faith in this running back. Knowing if they get down into this area of the field, he can get it done and he can answer the bell. Two rushing touchdowns already for this offense. Looking for the two-point try. Little touch pass to the receiver. He gets in there for the two-point conversion, and now we have a two-possession game. So it's an 80-yard drive, and they capped it off with a one-yard punt. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. On the ground, it's Hampton. Got the first down and more. They'll bring him down, but not before he put people in the spin cycle. And I think if you're the head coach, defensively now, obviously, you've got three timeouts in your back pocket. You're trailing at this point, and the offense is going to be running the football, trying to bleed the clock. They're going to take as much time off the game clock as they can before snapping it. You've got to start thinking about using some of those timeouts. Got his man quickly. The first down pass completed to the wideout. Tackle is made near the 48-yard line. Brings up. Now. Clock continues to run, and they'll be happy to wind it all the way down before they snap it. They want that clock to run. And the Tar Heels will move the sticks with the first down. 
I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. They're getting this guy lathered up. A strong tackle and wrap-up from the junior. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Here's the handoff. Just what they were looking for, and he's got him set up in business at the 35 with a first down. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. The Tar Heels come to the line with a new set of downs. The give to the tailback. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Got three on first down at second and seven. The give. Right to crease at the 20. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Yeah, they've had a day. And it's the complete and total offense. They, they got the ground going, and obviously this is why you see him. You, you're going to feature him because he can churn those legs, get those extra yards, but they've had balance throwing for touchdowns. Like, this offense has been very complete today, and that's why they're winning so big. Turning to the running game on first and goal. And they'll shove him out of bounds after the short game. And down here near the goal line, you've got to be physical. And this guy's proven it today, Palmer. They've given it to him. He's put it in the end zone twice already. I'm going to keep featuring him. So you know the defense is going to be king him too, right? Because he's hurting them a little bit in this game already. They're going to be finding a way to try to get some penetration, anticipating this guy to touch it again. Going to run it. It's Hampton. Touchdown, UNC! And the stomping has commenced. These guys looking to put the finishing touches on this game with that score. Yeah, and I think you feel confident that ends it, right? Late in the game, it would take a miracle for the defense to get back in it. That miracle is no longer coming now. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. So a drive there of 82 yards, and they finish it off with the score from the four. to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. From inside the 10, here he comes. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. And the Duke offense heads back out onto the field. Off the play fake on first down. Fires to the middle. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And he was loose and not stopped until he gets to the 47-yard line. And this offense has got to kick it in high gear now. Making a big play, that is great, but we got to go up-tempo. We got to go fast. We're trailing big in this ball game. We got to put a lot of drives together and maybe even get lucky with an onside kick. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. To throw, it's Murphy. And that ball is picked off. Looking for more room. He's at the 30. He is finally out of bounds, but he was smelling that end zone on that return. Nice job by this defense. That might be the exclamation point. Fourth quarter, I got a lead. You bring on the nickel defense. You know they're passing the football for plays just like that to make the INT and almost put this one away.
Running out the clock, a mere formality between them and a victory as we have victory formation coming. And they're just about out of chances. The defense can stop it one more time as the quarterback takes a knee. 